We're going to talk about this now. Charles Hurd is the Washington Times opinion editor. He's also a Fox News contributor. Ben Kissel is a radio talk show host. Good to have you both here. I want to read to you one other thing and then show you something. This is from Celinda Lake. You know, Celinda mm -hmm. Lake, very famous pollster for the Democrats. She writes this. Uh, I worry about whether we as Democrats have invested in the infrastructure we need to really mobilize the vote, meaning millennials and Hispanics. There are a good 15 seats where the millennial and Latino vote make a huge difference, could be the margin of victory. And now I want to show you an ad that from a Democrat. Her name is Sochil Torres Small. She's in New Mexico, too. And look at how she's trying to define her thoughts on immigration. Watch. We need an immigration system that's strong, smart, and fair. Strong, secure the borders, enforce the law, keep violent criminals out. Smart, fix the work visa process. Don't waste billions on a new wall that won't work. Fair, stop separating families. Provide a pathway to citizenship for those without a criminal record. Charlie, I always want to turn to you because Democrats are having to deal with this thing of the left wing saying abolish ICE. Right. And right. they're talking like open borders. And then you have a Democrat like uh, Ms. Small who's saying, no, this is how I see the world. Your thoughts? Uh, you know, and, and, you know, we've said this all along that, you know, Donald Trump often does the right thing, but really makes people mad because of his style. And the uh, and the, you, there's a clear stylistic difference between Donald Trump and her. Mm -hmm. uh, she's she's uh, sort of uh, couching it a little bit differently than the way he does. But they kind of are saying the same but thing. But they're saying Except the exact for the wall. Same. I mean, she's saying the, the wall would and, be a waste of money. But but that but but again, you know, the wall is one of those things where uh, Donald Trump uses that as a sort of it's sort of like a sledgehammer to hit people with mm -hmm. when they oppose the idea of doing something about immigration. But in, but but as, but I do think that your point is exactly right. At the end of the day, that uh, they agree on much of that, and what the two of them I think want fixing the crisis at the border is like an 80-20 issue in the United right. States. It's not and an And she's a Democrat in a border state. Okay, so right. she's um, in New Mexico. She is in a very, it's a toss-up. Fox uh, rankings has it as a toss-up. So, yeah. and I know that Vice President Pence, he's headed to New Mexico. He's going to try to help Steve Pierce, who's leaving that race. He's running for governor, and he's going to try to help the Republican there. But she's trying to localize her race, and this is what right. I care about, while the national Democrats seem to be going farther left. I think she is dead on when she talks about a path to, uh, to citizenship. We need that in this country. And quite frankly, we need undocumented workers. Right now, according to the um, uh, Department of Agriculture, half of the farmers, half of farm workers are undocumented. 25% of people who work in hospitality are undocumented. Both of those industries are going to uh, continue to grow. She was talking grow. about those, not just undocumented workers. She's saying that let's have a fair process right, and figure exactly. out the... But right now, the Republicans just constantly close all the doors uh, towards a path to citizenship. So these people are damned if they do, damned if they don't. And quite frankly, when it comes to the caravan, I do think there's a lot of fear mongering going on. And I think we have to think of this as a refugee crisis in some ways. Did you see, Charlie, that now um, the Honduras officials are telling our government that it was some left wing guys in their party that are like encouraging this caravan, that it's not necessarily Democrats here in America. We don't have a lot of information on this. But if I, I'm just looking at that video over there, the pictures, it's it's not like it's not happening, right? And 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 of course, uh, in in South and Central America, they are very well attuned to American politics. They know how to, and then they always have. And it, of course, it's why they're coming here in the first place is because they know that they come to the United States, they cross the border, they get uh, detained, and they get their they permiso papers, and then Maybe. then they're released. And uh, and and that's part of the draw. And that's why I thought it's sort of interesting with uh, the, the, the 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 that candidate's uh, ad. She has uh, in it's sort of in the background small. Uh, and that is sort of part of the problem is that, uh, I mean, I think the legitimate argument against Donald Trump and his plan is that, you know, talking about the wall means you're not talking about all the other okay. things that need to but, be done. But it makes it harder. And they do need to be done. But the caravan makes it harder for people who might be more supportive of more legal immigration or sure. adding more refugees because it's like, well, there has to be a process to allow those things to happen. I don't think the Democrats, number one, in this country are organized enough to pull something like this off. So there's no evidence that this is paid for by some big Democratic donor. He just says this and, and people want to believe it. So they do. When it comes to the wall, it's a $19 billion uh, disaster. It's not going to work, number one. Disaster. Because Why it's you call 
all that. he's not getting it done. So I don't even know why Donald Trump continues to mention it because it's one of those things that he actually hasn't fulfilled well, his promises. Well, I think it's probably on. because he so, thinks that it actually would work. I mean, he's looking at the situation, and I mean, we heard about that argument that John Bolton and John Kelly got in last week because you have over seven about 700 illegal crossings a day attempted, and our border patrol is having to figure out a way to try to plug all those holes. I'll give you the I, but, last word, but, Charlie. But, but, but I think part of the reason that, that, that the, the idea of the, of the wall has been such an effective political tool in this country is because uh, people are so frustrated. And when you and, and when, whenever Donald Trump approaches a politician and says, let's do a wall, the first thing they say is that doesn't work. Let's not do it. And and w w if, you, if you approach this problem, because let's be clear, Democrats like having illegals for whatever reason they have. They have no problem ha no, having I illegals come over the border. It, it, it absolutely no, is I true. And, 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 uh, and, and actually, to, uh, you know, the, the point you were making is a Chamber of Commerce argument. Oh, we need all these illegals in this country because they can do all this uh, work for, for cheap. Well, people, American people are sick and tired of both yeah. of those explanations. Well, I talked to small businesses. We got okay. Ben, I'm sorry I'm going to have to cut That's you fine. off there. But Charlie Hurt, Ben, because we're not going to solve it here, but we're going to keep talking about it. We appreciate you being here. Thanks.